Alright guys, how's it going? So we are back for part technically two classifying an ass, but the third card opening of Yu-Gi-Oh! on this channel. Uh, I'm classifying it as two because this is the actual second video where I sat down and did this. Um, and as you can see, I have a pretty magnificent stack, magnificent stack in front of me here. Um, the one where I'm working at is currently doing a remodel, and these cards were all $2 a pack, and I have... I've opened one so far, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14 actually, I had 14 packs, including the bug guys that you guys saw in the previous video. So, in this video I'm not going to be opening all these guys because that would just take way too long. I'm going to be opening one Seto Kaiba Speed Duel out of four that I have. Uh, I'm going to be opening up one Cybernetic Horizon of three packs that I have. One Soul Fusion pack, and we have two more to go. We have a Hidden Summoners, which I've actually opened a pack of these, which will be the second video you guys will see. Uh, and it's five foil cards, and there's, there's five cards in a pack, and you get five foil cards. So that's, that's pretty cool. Um, and then this one seems kind of odd for you know Yugi, Yu-Gi-Oh, in my opinion. Looks more like a, uh, a Japanese adult card that you would buy. It just, it just seems too anime, and I thoroughly, 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 thoroughly thought I looked through the entire container over there a couple of times. Two hours later, I went back, and I found this old, busted-up Joey Speed Duel packs. There's three cards in these Speed Duels. These things are nice. I like the Speed Duels. Hopefully, we pull Joey. We were lucky enough to pull Seto Kaiba in the very first video that I did, as you guys saw. Um with the clip. I never uploaded the video, but you guys will get the clip. That's pretty cool. So in this video, we're going to be opening up six booster packs, and I'm actually really excited. Uh, but the problem is, it's going to take a hot minute, so I'm going to go ahead and pop these guys out of their uh, casings, I guess you could say, and uh, kind of to stab myself in the process here. I'll tell you what, man, these, these are all, most of these are from 2014. Ow, I stabbed myself. And dude, they, they made the packs difficult to get into. Alright, so there's Cybernetic Horizon open. And these Cybernetic Horizon cards, for whatever reason, are always bent. The pack, the pack, the first pack that I opened was bent. So there's Cybernetic Horizon. Five cards in that pack, that's dope. We're gonna jump over to the Soul Fusion. I'm sorry guys, to save on time, this will all be sped up. Um, be prepared and enjoy the saggy man boob video. I'm losing weight heavily at this new job, so uh, things are starting to droop where they never drooped before. So to all the women out there with kids, I'm sorry. I understand your pain. That's going to get me in so much trouble, but I don't give a fuck. It's 2021, man. Equality is everything. We can't make jokes about each other. We're not equals. Plain and simple. All right. We're still going, man. It's, it's still happening here. We're what? Four minutes into the video? Let me cutting out a lot of the video. Guys, there's only four cards in here, but these packs are fucking dope, dude. Look at those, man. You guys see what I mean with this one? It just looks kind of odd. I'm going to put these back how I had them. I want to open this one last. This one has me very curious. I've never even heard of this version. And there was one man with something that looked almost like dual monsters, but it was like a magic. And I don't have the money for it, but I probably I won't have the money for it while I'm at this job. So, we're going to go ahead and open up a Joey, Seto Kaiba, Joey, Seto Kaiba, Joey, Seto Kaiba. Seto Kaiba. So right there, there's six packs of cards. Uh, let's see, 4, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 15, 14, 15, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24 cards right here. But tell me that is not a lineup, my dude. I mean, come on. And for this, we're going to move closer. So, like I said, we're going to start with the speed duel, since I know these cards. I know what to expect these guys. If you come across any of the characters that are shown on the back, um, you get a blue card in the back instantly. So, I am going to save uh, one of these Seto Kaibas. I thought I was actually opening for a second and one of the Joeys, and try to save them as best as I can in the front. I like the way the card packs look. Uh, so, here we go, straight out the gate. We have the Legendary Fisherman. Cool. That's the guy who was on there with him. Uh, fulfillment of the Contract. Ba blam Dijin, 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 Daziri of Ritual. I don't know, that was weird. And just like in the last packs that I opened, Amazon training. Now, when I opened up the first Speed Duel pack, I was very upset, actually, due to the simple fact that I got literally the same cards two times out of the three pack. I was absolutely aggravated. So, we're going to go ahead and save that, and it's in perfect condition. Now, we're going to jump onto this Joey. We already keep cards separate, so we know who comes from what. 
ready for a Joey. I don't know why all of a sudden I got into Yu-Gi-Oh cards again. I think it's because I had the money and they were cheap right now. And boom, beautiful. I'm gonna clean up the floor in a minute. I'm at a Airbnb and I'm, I don't wanna leave it a mess when I get out of here. But I won't be out here for a while, so. But bam. All right, so out the gate we have Pendulum Machine. Sorry, I'm terrible with Yu-Gi-Oh names sometimes. Cool card. Uh, Fighting Spirit. These are all spell cards in here. We have Eternal Rest and we have uh, Release Re Restraint. Pretty cool, pretty cool, pretty cool. Three spell cards, uh, straight out the gate. Four of those defense cards. I can't remember, guys. It's been so long since I played. Now I'm not too worried about the pack, personally. We'll just go ahead and pop it open. It's, it's trash. Into the floor with you. All right, we have uh, Arcane Barrier. Cool. We have Robin Zombie, which is a trap card. We have Emiri Q. My nephew will love that card. And then we have Sword of the Dark Destruction. Cool. So far, this is taking two minutes for just a couple boost packs. Oh! Oh my god! So we have a blue, and it's not Joey. That's upsetting, because we only have one more Joey to go. Alright, so, so, just, we have Fortress Whale. That's freaking cool. I'm already happy. Uh, Ally of Justice Core Destroyer. Oh. Spellbinding Chamber. If I'm not mistaken, that's what you use to summon Exodia. Or, you use with something, I can't remember. And here we have Bandit Keith, man. Hell yeah, dude. Holographic. The first holo we pulled out of these booster packs so far. That one is going to go straight in the middle. We're going to jump onto our last pack of Seto Kaiba. We pulled that out of Joey's pack, by the way, just if you weren't paying attention there. Uh, let's see. No blue card. Out of the way with you. We have uh, Infantry Beast. We have Goblin Zombie. We have Mask of... Mask of the Accused. Just trying to read that wrong. Oh, my God. Livia Dragon... The other is, I don't know. I used to have this card as a kid. I fucking loved it. And I got rid of all my Yu-Gi-Oh cards that were holographic. Uh, or a good chunk of them. And, oh my god, dude. I'm so happy to have that card back after all these years. That was, by far, one of my favorites. Just due to its coloration. The way it looked holographic. God, dude, as a kid, I loved it. Alright, so nothing out of these Seto Kaiba packs for the blue, whatever those cards are called right there. We're going to jump onto our last Joey pack. And we have no blue card. The blue card will always be in the back, so it's pretty obvious when you open it up what you're going to get. We have Slot Machine. I love that card. K A B A Z A U L S Kabazulis. Hmm. Empress Moth. And Fire Reaper. So nothing out of the Joey pack, really. Um, I think we pulled this out of the Seto Kaiba. Let me check. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. Nope, that would have had to come out of the Joey pack. Oh my gosh. So we got two holographics. That's dope. I'm happy. Let's jump on to the next packs, guys. Alright, so I'm opening. This one last, as I said, so we're going to set that off the side. So we're going to open a, the Cybernetic Horizon. I don't really feel like keeping the packs because I have so many uh, of them, honestly, so I'm not worried about these ones keeping them first. All right, so straight out the gate. We have Universal Adapter, which is like a bunch of little dudes looking like batteries. We have Psychopathic Ace. He's flying a rocket with his winner. Beast Magic Attack. Contact Gate. Ooh! Ooh! We Witches, We Witches Apprentice. Dude, what the fuck is that? Dude, 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 dude what are these? Goldfang. Pure for Malpala. Goldfang, what is that? Look at the, look at the card. I don't, dude. Goki Hell Ogre, Heel Ogre. I don't know, I don't know, I'm, I'm terrible with names, but dude, what is going on with these? Uh, Link, Turret, and uh... Crusadia Leons. Leonis? Lioness. And dummy. Dude, what is with these cards? They're blue. And this dude. I don't I don't know, dude, but we got another hollow. I'm not mad, dude. That pack was banging. That was new cards I've never seen before. Alright, now we're gonna jump into Soul Fusion. Um Dude, I'm gonna buy the rest of those if I find them. I'm not kidding you. That card was freaking up. Those cards were amazing. Uh alright, so. Rise of the Solomon Great. Pretty cool. Uh we have Giant Ballpark. Alvis of the Nordic of Flare. Dude, this card is... Oh, this card's holographic. Dude, look. Dude, that one is freaking cool, man. Danger Dogman. Um, Orcus Breast Bombard. Bombard? I'm sorry, I'm terrible, I'm tired. Y'all gonna have to just get over it. Uh, Diane the Light Spirit. That one is hard to see, but she's adorable. Necrofusion. Dope, we have a blue card. We have a blue card. I'm not gonna look at it. I'm gonna flip this over. Okay, I don't wanna see it yet, because it could be something absolutely amazing. Uh... In practition, incantation, pencil opium, pencil, I don't know, I'm terrible. These names have changed as a kid, man, I used to just know them. Alright, blue card reveal, here we go, three, two, one. 
один. Crusadia Spatha, S P A T H. I don't know, man. These cards got weird freaking names nowadays. It used to be something cool and simple. So we got one hollow out of that, which was a danger dog, man. That's freaking cool. Definitely gonna be buying that pack again. Here we're gonna go on to our hidden summoners since we're at like 20 minutes in this video, I think. Um, I might just jump into making another video. All right, here we go, children. I don't mean children. I mean as an insult. Okay, so you have Prank Kids Paradise. Uh, what is that? Oh yeah, Pandemonium. I'm sorry, I read that wrong. There was also an, an email that popped up. That's cool. Now these are from the ones that have all they're all holographics. Prank Kids Plan. Oh. Uh, let's see, let's try to read this one. Stop emailing me. Seriously, I'm getting like emails from work right now. S-H, Sharia, Niwi, Spiritual Sword. I don't know. Whoop. Reverse. Oh! Re Rebirth of Nefitis. That's a cool one. Yuki, Ona, the Ice, Mayakashi. Dude, I don't know, but these packs are freaking dope, dude. I don't know why anybody wouldn't buy it. I do, I've, heard, I've heard so much shit from people about these booster packs. And... I'm seeing nothing but joy and happiness. So, dude, this one even has an anti-steel tag on the back of it. That's freaking weird. I've never got a pack of Yu-Gi-Oh cards that has an anti-steel tag on it. All right, guys, we're going to save this pack because it's new. I've never seen it. I'm getting emailed again. They need to get over it. I don't know what the hell they want. Pocket plenty because we left the sign on level. What we'll get tonight when we go back in. All right, guys, jump right into this weird, weird booster pack. Okay, blam. Ooh. Backup security. Freaking cute. Bottomless trap hole. That would have been nice as a kid. That's freaking cool. Uh, so far, no hollows. The Book of the Law. I need that one in my life. Magi uh, majestic. No. Well, that one's dope. Magistus? M -A -G Magistus? Bird. Yeah, I don't know. I'm stupid. I'm terrible. Okay. Born from Dracon. Oh, we got a blue card again. Nightmare Griffin. Dude, this one. This one's freaking cool. Dude, what the fuck? Live Twin Home. It, it, they're like they're on Twitter. I don't. I don't get it, dude. What? Dude, this, I need to buy more of these. I, swear, I mean, I'm going to Google them. I'm going to buy more. These freaking cards, dude, are so freaking cool, but what is with the arrows, man? It's almost like, it's almost like it's a video game. So, I, mean, I mean, technically, it is, it is a video game. Um, really quickly, actually, I think we're going to open up another, uh, Cybernetic Horizon. Just because the cards that came out of that, dude, were, were sick. Oh, and hey, there's... Okay, there's a... I'm gonna hide this because I wanna wanna do it. There's a thing inside here. This paper's much thicker than the last one. That one didn't have all this extra crap in it. Alright, we're just gonna open this one up. Here we go. Maybe, good word. Alright, there we go. Perfect split down the side, you guys. Alright, so jumping into the gate, we have uh Crusadia power. I don't know who Crusadia is. Another contact gate. Dragun Dragun Tilly? Dragonity, Legion, I don't, I don't know. Dragonity Coast, C O S Coast. Crusadia Reveal. Interrupt res Resistor. Mythical Instruction. Center Frog, that's freaking funny. And we have another weird card. Metaphys Decoy Dragon. I don't, I don't know what these cards are about, dude. They're freaking neat. Though. Oh. Alright guys, so that was another one of those packs. You know what, I think... Open up more. Let's keep going. Part 2, guys. And back in 2014, man, these guys did not play on their cards. I'm going to be buying more of these definitely soon. I'm going to buy every, every one of these I can come across. Just because they're cheap, uh, and I, I got a pretty good source of them. I got to see where they moved the uh, whole stack base at work, though. That was full. That had all the Yu-Gi-Oh cards on it. Alright guys, so we have nine... Nine Seto Kaiba, so let's get into this. That's a lot. These are the last ones above me. There's nine of them, man. Alright, so no blue card. Jumping in with Mythical Undertaker. That's freaking dope. Big wave, small wave. Now, as you guys actually look, that card I pulled, the, the first holographic I pulled, that's, that's the little lizard dude from the water. Uh, the Legendary Fisherman, and ooh, Ryu Sushiya. Sinshi. That one is freaking cool. I like that one. That was a good pack. That was a really good pack. Alright. These cards feel different. All right, Amazon Trainee again, just like I said. Goblin Zombie, Phantom Theater, High Tide, Dionjin. I'm not even going to try with some of these names, man. I don't care if I screw it up. I'm not about the names, man. I'm about the cards nowadays. At all. So, the first booster one didn't have anything blue. Uh, Fish Borg Planter. That's freaking dope. Pyramid of Wonder. Another Robin Zombie. And Axe Raider. That's cool. On to the second set. No blue card. So, we have Sonic Duck. 
Master be accused again. The Mythical Undertaker. And Robin Zombie. I'm not going to show you guys the ones that are duplicates. No blue. I almost got really lucky pulling Sokaba. Ready for, in, ready, ready for interception. Oh my god. Mythical Elf, guys. It's another card from my past that I've loved. Warrior Day Reaper. And Fishball Planner again. Alright, last pack for uh, the second duplicate set. No blue card again. That's a bummer. Alrighty, so we have Arceus Barrier. I remember this one. The Bim Nightmare. Bam Nightmare. Uh, the Legendary Fisherman and Slushy. He's made out of Slushy. He's adorable. On a booster pack three. Slushy, Pyramid of Wonder, Sword of Darkness, and Sinister Serpent. That's another one that I had as a kid. Second part of the booster pack, and no blue again. That sucks. So we have Legendary Fisherman, Slushy, Water Hazard, uh, and Myth, uh, Ma uh, Magician of Faith. That's another one as a kid I remember doing. And Hollow. All right, guys, last pack for all the speed duels. This is for all the money. No blue cards. Those nine cards, nine packs, no blue deal. Uh, the Ritual, the Big Wave, uh, Fusion Recovery, cool one, and Yomi Ship. That one's pretty dope, and it's on the floor now. It's hidden somewhere, which you can have a bunch of those kid cards in it again. I'm hoping in a couple of days. Now that you are, I'm not worried about it. Cybernetic Horizon, so far, has definitely been my favorite cards to play. Uh, or to open, I mean. And to pull out cards. It'd be cool with Dollar Tree cards, don't need Yu-Gi-Oh cards, and I'd only spend a couple of dollars, honestly. Just to see what I would get. Especially if it was, like, the original cards. Like, a limited time booster pack setup. That'd be amazing. You guys should see the pile on my floor. I'm gonna show you guys the videos over on both these videos. Alright, now we're going to Hidden Summoner. I'm trying to be gentle, man, but these edges do not want to work. These cards are old, man. They're all bent and warped. Uh, Prank Kids. Pranks. Ooh. This one's, this one's different. Mind you, of the 10,000 hands. Shirian Spirit Master. Fulfillment of the contract. And what are you? Dude, we have a white card. It's a zombie. This is... Tashu... Tashu... Chiyomi Omi. The Poisonous... Makushi... I don't know. I'm not reading it. Card's freaking dope, though, dude. All right, now we're on our second one. Dude, this, this one's starting to get fucking cool, too. I might spend the rest of the money that I have just on, just on cards. I got no food to last me for the two weeks. Ooh, I don't think I was supposed to see that card first. We're going to play towards the back. All right, Prank Kids, Pandemonium. We've seen that one. Prank Kids Play. We've seen that one. Uh, we've seen a Sword Lady, Rebirth of Nymph, and we have not seen this one. Oh, dude, that was freaking cool. Look at that one. It's a monument. There's a dude down here praying to it. That is Nefides, the Scared, the Scarred, Preserved. I don't know. All right. Now we're on Cybernetic Horizon, the very last pack. I've never opened this many Yu-Gi-Oh cards at once in my life. All right, bam. Straight out the gate, we have Universal Adapter, Zero Extra Link, which is neat looking. Uh, Crus Crusadia. Oh, we're going back to Crusadia. Uh, Crusadia. Vanguard, that one's neat. Oh, dude, we have a trap holographic. Alright, danger, danger zone! Like some giant beast monkey fighting a, a giant serpent. That's freaking cool. Alright, and then we have gladiator beast dragon, 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 I don't know. That's, that's, that's not holographic, but it's cool. Then we have cybernetic overflow, which is freaking cool looking. It's uh, some sort of robotic reptile. Turning of the world, ooh. Ruined angel of oblivion, that one's freaking cool. And then a link turbine again. Alright guys, that's it. That is literally all I have. Um... There's probably... 70 pieces of trash in my floor right now that I have to go through to figure this out, guys. But I want more of this one, Genesis Impact. That's the one I'm after. Uh, I will be keeping one of each of these front containers due to the fact that I want to buy more and I want to know that these are the ones that I like. Um, but so far, dude, we've got some weird ones. I mean, I've never seen... I've seen the white cards, obviously, but I've never... I never really pulled them because I quit playing Yu-Gi-Oh! pretty much right after... Uh, uh, what was it? When Generation uh, Yu-Gi-Oh! GX came out, I quit playing. I quit collecting and everything. I just had enough of it. But alright, guys, for like... $23, man, that's that's a good amount of cards, and they're banging cards, but the problem is you can see that most of them are bent, nasty, warped, so that's... How many cards do we have in general? Hang on. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 
the bins in my cards, I would actually take my old school textbooks and I would lay uh, a deck of cards like this flat on the table and I would stick the book on top of it and put 5 to 15 pounds of weight on top of it and literally compress the deck. Um, sometimes I would even wrap them in like cellophane and go from there and usually after two days of sitting purely like this, the cards would no longer have a bin because the cards were forced to stick together, which forced them to stay in the shape. So even with these guys, if I let them go, they want to try to hold the shape for a minute. So that's one way I used to do as a kid and I probably have right now over 200 Yu-Gi-Oh cards. So that's pretty freaking dope, dude. Anyway guys, I hope you enjoyed this long ass video, it's been like 30 minutes. Um, let me go ahead and pop off here, clean up the room. Uh, I might walk to Dollar General, which is like a mile and a half down the road, just for something to do mentally. Um, yeah, so stay tuned and I will see you in the next one. And if you guys are enjoying these uh, videos, since this is going to be uh, pretty much a part two, and a very, 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 very sped video unless something cool happens, um, let me know in the comments down below and we'll definitely do more here soon, because this new job I have, depending on how it goes, man, it's, it's, it's going to be a killer paycheck. Let's put it this way, I worked five days and I made over $800, so not mad. But anyway, peace out guys. See you in the next one. Bye, man, boobs.